Santa. Hey everybody, it's Steven S. Keeble Fast Triple Threes, and welcome to Dongan Lampa Trigger Happy Havoc. Now, this is the first series of this channel, I've been willing to play it. So, if you don't know what the Dongan Lampa is, it's actually like an anime game. Mostly it's like uh, something to do about murders and trials and stuff. And it's a really interesting game for reason for sure. And I want to play it for myself because it's really hard to do that. I never knew, seen it before, but I kind of really give me thoughts about this game. But it's also came from console version, which is on only from PS4. But now that it's decided, it's been playing on PC, which is awesome thing to do. Is check this out. I got my own controller. See. And I've been somehow configuring all of the PS4 controllers, and then I get able to play on this PS4 controller, so I got nothing to worry about. Instead, usually, um, uh, stupid thing. Usually, uh, on Steam, it's really not hard to do because it only had to deal with Xbox uh, controllers. It's really hard to do, so it's highly doubtful. It, it's hard to do things to how it works. So. The stupid information and stuff is like bugging me. So I'm not sure, but as long as there's something, you keep messing up again. Like I keep moving around the control a lot. So let's just start. Let's hope I'm not gonna mess it up. So yeah, the controllers are all good to go. So usually the controllers is really different for us. I mean, I got like four ports of USB, but hopefully I'm not gonna mess everything up. So uh, before I get started, I'm gonna set up the options. And just gonna put up a music. This much. And the reticles. You wanna know for sure. So, yeah, uh, this is gonna be a new series of this channel. Because I don't love to play this once. But it's gonna be happening for only like two each day, which will be on Monday and Wednesday. That I'm going to play for this week. So, anyway, let's just start a new game. Uh, language. Uh, English, Japanese. Well, it's everything about Japanese, so I'm gonna put English. And logic difficulties and action difficulties. Oh, they give me something difficult. Um, a good, gentle, kind, or mean. You know, this is the first time I played this. I'm gonna put each of them kind. Both of them. Okay, let's just get this started. What was this? Oh, that bear. Yeah, I see it from the opening cutscene. This was Manakuma, right? And this guy some tied up. Oh, the button. Oh, it's a rocket launcher. Oh, blast off! What are you gonna do? Going out of space? Well, you didn't let me next to you, isn't it? Uh oh, he comes to you, dip back. Wow. Total brutally. 
murdered. Ah! Yeah, this game must also have some gruesome and some bloody. But you will never like watch this, kids. Trust me. It's something you really don't want to. I kinda like that enemy. Duncan Lumper, Chicka Happy Havoc. Okay, I'm going to read some of it. Uh, excuse me, I'm gonna try to do like a voice impression, but I don't know who it's gonna be there. Okay. Uh, the massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imagination imaginable at government funds school uh, privileges. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. That's the reason why it's called Hope's Peak Academy, which is the word hope. There are two things you need to attend this school. One, you have already been attending high school. Two, you have to be the very best at what you do. Like what kind of special skills you have or what kind of ability you have. No ordinary students could enroll here. The only way in if it is you're scouted by the school itself. And standing here at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students. This is where the story begins. Where's me? Oh, there's a boy. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. Yeah, I better sure have to name it right because I know for sure that I came from Japan. I know all sorts of naming, but mostly it's kind of weird. And also this game is kind of reminds me from the animations, which I'm not going to tell you the spoilers. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Does he have a talent or skills? Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, yeah, I have hobbies and stuff I like to do. But it's not like I'm a psycho or mutant, mutant or whatever. Like, if you ever ask me what my favorite song was, or my favorite movie or TV show, It'll just be whatever most popular at that particular moment. Even among the average, a completely average. So I can't say say I'm your everyday hero type. That just who I am. Anyway, I figured it's always good to introduce yourself right off the bat. But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I say I'm a little more gung ho than the other people. Gun hole, what is that supposed to mean, Makoto? I mean, look at me! I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, standing in front of the entity but ordinary Hope's Peak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing here. I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I got this overwhelming princess, like it's trying to swallow me whole. But it's no wonder I would. Feel that way. What you had to understand is, well, let me just say, tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Preparation? Oh, it's giving me some schedules. All speak only invites all students who are truly elite in their field. Okay. Come on, keep it coming. Okay, this is a lot. And this time took place on 2010. Well, that's interesting. Even though this game was somehow released from somewhere in 2017 or 2016. It's such a popular topic, there are threads online dedicated to talking about schools and attendees. So to prepare it, I look up some of those threads. And all I saw was talk about ultimate students, who were way beyond their average high schoolers. For example, one incoming student is the ultimate pop sensation. More more like idol. A 
guess she's a high school girl who is also lead the singer for the pop pop group famous all over the country. They're also the ultimate baseball star. He was the cleanup hitter for the nation high school champs. Pro Trump pro teams already have their eyes on him. Ugh. So is that awful? Then is the ultimate fashionista. Oh, those are magazines. Oh, those have a name. Junko Enoshima. She's been on the cover of the tons of fashion magazine. She's what every high school girl wants to be. High school girl. Oh, and they mentioned the, the ultimate biker gang leader too. The scary thing is, he's the de facto leader of every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love the guy. There's a lot of introductions around here. On top of that, there's the ultimate martial artist, the ultimate fanfic creator, the ultimate gambler, the ultimate swimming pro, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate car volunteer, and then some reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was a country finest, top to bottom. I feel like a tame little house cat who wandered into a pride of lions. Is that a reference or something? I mean, this game is almost feels like a reference. But still, there was something I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, there were a few students who I couldn't find any info on. No matter how much I looked, but all those ultimate students are the only one without any kind of weapon or talent. But then, what about those other new students who didn't seem to be popped up anywhere? Could they be just average students like me? Were there any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personalities. And beyond that, there's an even bigger issue. How did such an unbelievable average student like me get picked to come to this ultimate high school? I mean, I get there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the acceptance letter that sent me to see why. What letter? Mr. Makoto Naegi. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you have been selected and we're inviting you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. Okay, M Makoto Naegi is the ultimate lucky student, which why come it the lucky student? It's spelled out plain as day. I got invited by pure luck. Would you may feel lucky? Honestly, I probably would have been better off just declining the offer. But after hearing how graduate was a grand guarantee for success later in life, I just couldn't say no. But then actually standing there in front of the school, I started to feel lost. Like it didn't belong here. I could feel myself losing my nerve. But still, I can't just stay here in front of the geek ever. Frozen in place, murmuring to myself. I look down on the acceptance letter, clutches in my hand. It says there'll be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a little while, but I should probably just head in. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. I get out all my determination and try to act like I've done this a million times before. Determination, more undertone efforts. Jeez. And I took my first step toward the main hall. Okay, this is the main hall. This is where we're supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really edgy clock over in the corner. It says it's 7 10 a.m. Wow, Makoto, you have too early to come here. The meeting doesn't start until 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 15 minutes left. It makes me sense nobody else will be here yet. How is I wound up? I got her way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting, just standing around where it is exactly. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that help me calm down a little. I am a student here now, so there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It helped me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool, I took my first step into Host Peak Academy. It was also my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. He's gonna help Dizzy. What the? But the instant I took that 
Rufus stepped toward, forward. My fear became warped, twisted. Oh, he's going like fall to sleep. It was like some kind of delusion, meaning melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. Then the next moment, everything went black. Okay, okay, something strange is going on here. That was how it all began, and how life as I knew it came to end. At that point, I should have realized. The reason I was brought to Hope's Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience the ultimate despair. Was it about despair? Welcome to Despair. Prologue. Okay, we're beginning the prologue of this chapter. Okay. Do you want to save the data? Okay. Yes, please. Oh, my God, there's a lot of slots. How many were there? Oh, there's a lot of slots. I gotta put number one. Save. Maybe I might be good to save it at this point and finish the prologue. Makoto, wake up. Mm. Well, you wake up in a classroom. What? Where am I? I woke up with a, my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zoink off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but... What was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I ever been bored for. What the heck is going on? Welcome to Host Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. Okay, you can use the mouse to adjust your aim. And now why using the mouse or the keyboard? If you're aiming the object, you can interact with you can press the left mouse button. Then we know that. And press up your investigate that object. Use the WASD key buttons to adjust your viewpoint. Or you can press and hold the right button to move the mouse bar. Or don't you look around the classroom? Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I press the uh, options button that how you do oh. uh, controls. Okay, I can use move around like these, move our cameras, I can move around my radicals. I can press X. Okay, that's the things I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drool I must have left there. Oh, jealous, really? I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on the desk? An orientational guide? It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, and there's something written handwritten on it. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, this school will be your entire world. What the? Hey, just. Is this a, someone's idea of a joke? Okay. Let me just look around for a bit. Oh my god, using cameras and the radicals are really hard to do. What the heck? In any normal classroom, there's windows. That's where the window should be. It looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. If I... And if I were to knock on it... Yep, definitely metal. Dick too. Very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why are there metal plates over the windows? Don't know. There's a camera. Is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess I have to needs to keep weirdos from just wandering in. Really? Weirdos, really? Let's see what time it is. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. You've been sleeping here for an entire hour, Makoto. How do you expect? Has it always been almost an hour since then? Who knows? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is... I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall, and then someone carried me here? If that's true, it must be me. This is the classroom inside Hulk's Peak. Well, we're on Hulk's Peak right now, so... But then, if that's true, that just raised more questions. This is all really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows? It's like it's prison or something. None of this makes sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the beanie time. There might be the other students here now. You can leave the classroom by pressing R. How? Okay, this is the door. 
Leave the area? Yes. Okay, we're in the hallway. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. This is getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the hall, main hall. This WSK, I'm not using a keyboard. Also, you can use a tab. How do you do that exactly? Um. Okay, I did that. Oh, I have to try and go to Pokemon. Okay. Circle told to sh move faster. So where am I gonna go? Um, it's supposed to be somewhere, right? It's this way? The spare hotel? No, that's not even it. Is it this way? Wait, what? School store. I guess it's not open. Okay, that's the store. Uh, is that it? That's the exit, right? Okay, that's just where we're gonna meet all of the students. By the time we got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey! Another new kid? Well, everyone's already gathered already. Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Well, of course, it's supposed to be 16, 15 people, right? Standing before me were the ultimate students that has been handpicked by the school. I look around at everyone who gathered here, taking in their face one at a time. Maybe I'll just imagine it, but I swear I could feel the kind of aura coming from each of them. Oh, there's a lot of people there. Um, how's it going? My name's Makula Naegi. Sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was asleep. Huh? Whoa! You too? Hmm, these kids keep getting curious and then curious. Mm -hmm. So strange. I declare beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a strange situation indeed. Well, I try and do like a voice impression for all of the characters around here. I'm trying my best. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it! Just a moment! There's something else we must address! Listen to me! Makono! Your tardiness is unacceptable! Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at AAM sharp! Well, excuse me! Well, just because he was a fellow so you can't be tardiness. Pete, that's just supposed to be like a... He's supposed to be a lucky student, not an unlucky student. To be late on your first day is honest people. I must report you, and you must accept your due punishment. What? What's your problem? It's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right. Everyone just calm down. Just listen, why don't we all go go around and introduce ourselves? Huh? The age? Now it's not the time. Now it's not the time for freaking introduction. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we su even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? Yeah, that's a good point. Um. Okay, so let's get introduction out of the way then. We can move on to whatever else. Sounds good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance as I'm gonna get. I'm only looking around everyone up on a post peak kind of red line, but still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. One in front of the, the door, big giant door. Aim at the students and press the left to talk. Each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Okay. Let's start with you, uh, Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. I look forward to you, Kiyo. 
Kiyotaka. Ultimate Morale Compass. What does that even mean? So that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to the famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically flawless on the student. Was he a genius or being honorable? He's also known for the works he's done with his community's public morals committee. They say he respects rules above all else, earning him the title of Ultimate Moral Compass. Hmm. Anyway, you can call me Taka. You say your name was Makoto Noyagi, right? Okay, your short name was Taka. Okay, thank you. I can't even know how to say Kiyo Taka. But I like to call him Taka. And I said for now. That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. You hear me? And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. Got it! Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Wait! Wait! This guy is kind of annoying. Okay, uh, this next one is Tokofukawa. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Where should I meet you, Toko Fukawa? Ultimate Writing Prodigy. Writing Prodigy? Are you like a novelist? Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launching her literary career. Oh my god, it kind of reminds me of what Doki Doki. Not that I know about. The two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit for the woman. Women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every hardest man poem. Despite her age, she won countless literary, literary prizes, and all of her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing project. What else would you call such a young and talented author? But I figure she'd be a lovely dubby type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? It's not polite to stare, you know? Still stare at me like I'm some filthy creature! Oh my gosh, Toko, calm yourself down. Filthy creature? No, I just thought... I know what you just thought. You just thought you would never see such an ugly woman. You just... God, it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm telling you! Don't bother trying to lie to me! I know it's true, otherwise you... I know you can't stand in looking at me. Anyway... Whatever, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Wow, talk about an inferior complex that was way off about what the successful offer would be like. Yeah, let's have Sayaka Maizono. Hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Ultimate Pop Cessation. Oh, you're one of the idols. The way she moves is possibly mesmerizing, and that plasma scent I can't quite place. Sayaka Mazuno. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. Which I want to know what Sayaka's pop group name is. I want to know. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in a high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. Actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised that she would be going to this school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Oh, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. <laughs> I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive! Wait, you can read your mind to that? Huh? Did you hear me? Um, I'm psychic! What, Eugene decided to do his ultimate psychic? Huh? I just have really good intention. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Hey, huh? Hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did... Just hold on! Jeez, you guys! How long do you plan to waste our valuable time with a ridiculous black and porn? Uh, um... Sorry. Just got carried away, I guess. You hear me? Stop with the dark shot for introducing yourself! Not bubbling! You're a bunch of idle chit chat! Um, you're right! Sorry! Sorry, Makoto! We can talk about this later! Sounds like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say. A 
pretty sure she knew him or killed her for no reason. It's not like we never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. Okay, next up is this. Leon Kowata. It sounds like a, a English name for say Leon. Yo, the name's Leon Kawada. What's up? The ultimate baseball star. So it's like a baseball pro. I recognize that name. He played for the National High School Champs as their cleanup hitter. The ultimate baseball star. And that superb athletic specimen is. You? Seriously? Huh? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. Give me a break. What? You expected some kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was just expecting more of a, you know, spoiler look at traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you looked at. <laughs> what? Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously, I hate that picture. What, you used to be cool? I mean, you kind of like a pro, but now you become like a cool guy. What the crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously, I'm like mega embarrassed right now. I think I have a choice, okay? Shaving your head like that is part of the national championship regulation. Please, but now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna die back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? You know, I don't like baseball. Like. All, I've never gone to a single practice. Then why are you calling yourself the ultimate baseball star? Just never practice. He's still his team star player? He's some kind of prodigy. Yeah! As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. My own dream for the future. A dream for the future? <laughs> My only plan in life is getting into music. You can feel that star quality aura I have, right? Then why you decide to give up the baseball and decide to go into music? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar. We're all set. You try to steal Sayakas. How cool is that? This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from a baseball song. Yeah, and here's the. You fool me, Yamada. And he fooled me, Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. Really? The ultimate fanfic creator. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? <laughs> well, in that world, I am well known and superiorly well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. Mm hmm. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comments at the school festival. The event has passed into legend. Okay, this is a weird thing for him movie. 10,000 copies of fanfics. I mean, I know that everyone around the world who do some fanfics as well. Right, not much, but they'll get to it. Some of them didn't get it, of course. Say I attended the event. How stupid can you be? That's too bad about that. A selling 10 deaths of copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. However, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I'm like Van Gogh, utterly unpopular in my time. I am a soldier, serving night and day to destroy all my less preconception about fan fiction. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Naegi, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm-hmm. For my work is filled with deepest meaning. What, what kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing that basis urge. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay, now to talk to those five people over there. Oh my god, there's a lot of things you can do, so we're gonna do left to right. Ayo Asahina. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. Oh. But my friends just call me Hina. What's up? Ayo, okay. So I'm gonna call her Hina for now, because I cannot know her first name right. Yes, ultimate swimming pro. So you're a good swimmer. Ayo Asahina. She's been breaking records in every competition she's been in since elementary school. She's been 
chosen as the upcoming Olympic candidate, and she is without a doubt the ultimate swimmer pro. Olympic? Wow! No wonder she has amazing talent as a swimmer. The combination of ability and appearance and um, proportion have been widely discussed online. Mm. So, uh, what was your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, got it. Here, I'll hammer it into my brain right now. Yeah. Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi. What are you doing? Are you writing something down? She just keep repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm and she was writing something. Okay, I thought she was writing paper. though. I mean, she got a pen. What are you doing? You don't know? If you wouldn't really remember someone's name, you kinda write it on your hand three times. I never heard that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? Really? You spell exactly like it sounds. Mm. Um... <laughs> well, I have no idea. <laughs> I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Okay. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure. Same here. Well, one thing I learned is she's totally e easygoing, but bursting with energy? Okay, this one. Chihiro Fujisaki. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Why are you blushing, Chihiro? The ultimate programmer. Oh, I love it. You're a good computer at all. But to be honest, I don't want to become a good computer at all. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. <laughs> anyway, I hope we get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination, but have we ever met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time. Which is why I said, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. yeah. Good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Jishio Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she created. She's the ultimate programmer. She also got that tippet little bunny type thing going, which just endure her to her league of fans. Um, hey, so listen, I'm you're really sorry. sorry. Huh? What are you apologizing for now? Um, well, just cause, you see what I'm saying? He must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. It's just lost of thoughts about something. Huh? Well, lost of thoughts? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good! I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> I like you, Chihiro. You're my favorite because you're an ultimate programmer. I'm into computers. You're into computers. We get in the I'm hoping we get into each other. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Okay, now I get to... Joko Kirijimi. Couldn't get to it. Last name right. Just silence. Um, can I ask your name is? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Uh, Kirigiri, okay. I can't get it last night. What's the ultimate? Ultimate unknown. What? She don't have no talent? Okay, there's something. She don't have no talent at all. But why is she gonna be here? She's a pretty really tight lifted, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anyway in the whole academic thread. And I did see that there was still like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or purpose. Could this girl be one of them? And so, what are you doing at this school? What? What's that supposed to mean? Now, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So, what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. What should I tell you? What, she don't want to tell her about her talent? Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. Nothing about her turn up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance like me. But... Her face is like I am mad, so if she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking her. No, no, Taki. Let's see, Junko Inoshima, or I'll see you for the magazine cover. Hi! I'm Junko Inoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Ultimate Fashionistas Anybody who recognize this one Juko Inoshima and won a magazine cover She got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country 
She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazines cover, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. What? Huh? Come on. Are you talking about my cover arts, photos and junk? <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Don't they tell me Photoshop that Photoshop? Wait, that's all made up. That's not who you speak, Junko. Photoshop. Yeah, you know, edit the age and back. I'm like, appears a junk. Oh, so aren't real? What can we do? Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. Totally. I'm totally normal these days. So follow shot the crap out of the cover up photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little demon of ours. <laughs> that makes your eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks like climatic pro climb. Oh. So, many dreams are getting crushed today. Okay, now we talk to big, big guy. Mondo Owada. I think I see him from the cover. As well. Name's Mondo Owada. Nice to fucking meet you. Hey, calm yourself down. Stop with the swearing. Swearing. Ultimate Biker Game Leader. Okay, then. Mondo Owada, huh? Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker game in Japan. He earned the respect even off from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you too. Yo. H yeah. You better be careful around him. One wrong word and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Those four over there are the only one left. Yep. But just last four it will be done for. Sakura Ogami. I am Sakura Ogami. Okay, Sakura Ogami. Oh jeez, that name's kind of familiar. Ultimate martial artist. Oh, you're like a fighter. Oh jeez, I almost asked her if she was a guy. What were you thinking, a guy? It's it's sound like girl voice. Even though Sakura is a girl's name. Did they have to say something like that? I'm loud is the day I get turned into a human meatball. And now I remember, she competed in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. Well, of course, because she has a big monster, obviously. That bit also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Some even think she's the closest non relevant to the primates. The fame missing link. Uh, Ogre? You mean the creature of the medieval version? Any incoming Hope's Peak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value your life, avoid her at all costs. Okay. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Huh? Yes? I snapped her attention without even realizing. Then she started to poke and prod on my body. Uh, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quality. Quantity is right around that of the extremely ordinary high school student. <laughs> what a shame. You're not at all fit to fat act as my training partner. I'm not sure that's a, such a shame for me. Not sure. Now we got for the last three. Uh, Byakuya Togami. Name's Byakuya Togami. That ain't quick. The ultimate influence prodigy. What's that mean? Hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half assed. Uh, I can't even say that. I, I crushed it, sorry. Half a introduction I ever heard. But there isn't really anything I could do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Togami, he's a hair appearance of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing the business operation and his own personal assets are well vast. So it's like a financial service? That's what he is? His title of Ultimate Influent Prodigy is completely accurate. His definition of expedition. That's everything I learned about him from the Hope Speak Academy threat online. Come on. We're done with the touch here, right? How much longer are you going to stand here? Go away. I'm sick of looking at you. So what said to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. That's that to me. 
Yes, Yashihiro Hakakura. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Okay, I'm gonna call you Hero for now, huh? Because I can't swim. Ultimate Combo What does that mean? So, Yasuhiro Hakakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the transcending ultimate Combo What, it's like a mind reader or something? Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. So I can't help wondering if there's any truth to. Could it be? Oh, okay. I give up. Huh? What happened? You're serious? I saw it. I looked it right at it. Serious? I totally saw it. So what? Hmm. A gaudy angel with a crazy perm, chasing after a bigfoot, running off with a sky fish in his mouth. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Really, you're just joking around? I thought you were kidding my video set. But hey, we should grab some brisket and sometimes get real deep into the moral and the civilization. What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. What, is that alcohol? You know? Oh, well, I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times, see? Uh, well, it's a long story. You're 21, even though you're still high school students? You're a hero. My man. You're weird. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. Okay, last one. Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Ludenberg? You sound... It sounds like you came from different countries. Ultimate Gambler. Oh. Gambler? She's like all about kite. Celestian Lubin. Huh? <laughs> Ludenberg. That's my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celestia. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> I don't know what you are talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. As I mentioned, I'm a real. I'm not much better and you call me Celeste. She polite, but really forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess rumor in that way were right about her. About she came from a different country. The sub style, Celestia Luvenberg. She's the ultimate gambler she, who's never lost a bet. Okay. Other than her obvious lover, got like bloody at clothes, everything about her is wrapped in a vow of lies. They said she entered and won an underground gambling tournament under the title Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did. Wow, like she's like, if she wins all of that, she'll become like a millionaire. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> that smiles beyond the sister. I better watch myself around her. Okay, that's all the introduction, right? But that all the introductions are done. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of um something. Hmm. Okay, time to get down to business. There's no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull eyed baboons. Oh that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um listen. Well you see uh, um, Makoto, you see a bunch of stuff happened and then you're just asleep, right? Well, the same is true. Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got to the main hall, we lost consciousness. And we came too. We were somewhere in the school. That's what happened to you, right? But that's just weird. That every one of the us would get knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly! That's why we're all freaking out! And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows and the classes and the hallways were, right? Oh yeah, the metal plates. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What was that about? Are you for real? Plus, all of my stuff is missing. Even my cell phone. Um, yeah, you're right. I don't see my BDA anywhere either. And then, there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. What does this mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What the heck? What is doing it? Aww. Maybe we got caught up in some kind of like, you know, 
I am a certain. Is it like what? like a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Hey, come on! Come on! Don't think like that! Cheer up! I bet this is all just a part of the school orientational procedures. You know? Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. I see. Oh! So you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Huh. If that's all it is, it's not time for me. You know what I mean. It was up way too late last night. It's like I used a little shot eye. I could feel everyone tenses evaporating. But then it began. Is it started? Is it the uh, the class about to begin? Or is the rotation? Oh, what's going on? Ahem, ahem, testing, testing, mic check one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Oh no, I think I know what the name is, that's Monokuma. Isn't Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Yes, we can hear you. The voice seems something out of place. It was so playful, so completely under concern. I couldn't help but feel deep, unnerving dread as someone... Uh, it was a uh, the human someone laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at uh, right now. Right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Okay then. This is me. Huh? What the H was that just now? Goodbye. Well then, if you excuse me. Hey! Hey, what? You gonna take out just like that? Could it be? Oh yeah, now that I get it, this whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Man, thank God it was all a joke. I'd be totally freak if this was real. You know? Alright, I guess I had that too. Wonder what they got planned for us to next. Huh. Uh... Damn, I was totally looking forward to the nap too. Why do you have to go and kill the mood? Huh? Away from me! I wanna go with you! <laughs> that is that, then I will see you on it. Anyway! Not that anyone cares, but I'm gonna go too! Everyone took us off for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That's an easy feeling I had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. It looks like I wasn't the only one. Um, this... it doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, that announcement was totally weird. However... Maybe by just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, aren't you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? I see. If we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But still, I kind of... No, I'm really nervous. We don't have choice. We have to go. They say to go to the gym, right? Do you want to save the data? Okay. And the safe right there. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now. On so, yeah, this is amazing. Uh, I'm not sure how this thing goes. Uh, I'm not sure how you gotta pause it for for a second. Now this is the only thing I get. But yeah, I'm going to leave it for now, fun. So this is an amazing game of Thunder Lump, but it's just the very beginning. Uh, we've done in introductions, and that's pretty much all there is to it. So anyway, that's pretty much it for Thunder Lump, the hat. Trigger Happy Havoc. I'm going to play this again on Wednesday, like I told you before. I'm going to play on Monday and Wednesday. Um, if you want to check out for this game, it's on from Steam. I'll put the link in the description. But you have to pay it for yourself. I think it's cost about like 20 bucks for no reason for sure. But you can play it for yourself. And also, if you want to use any kind of controls you want, either use PS4 or you can use it on the keyboard or using Xbox One. There's a simple way to get to it. You go to the big picture and you can go to the settings. You can go to the control settings. So you can be able to do so. So anyway, if you like this video, hit that like button too. Light them up. If you want to see my videos, so check out the other videos and go subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later!